And today is day 42. We've been so consistent learning over the past 41 days. You can catch previous lessons and live stream on the live stream tab on the channel. On today's live stream, we'll be learning all about the filtering and counting function with that. So without further ado, let's jump back to learning and welcome back to day 42. Welcome back. I'm Martin and the second instructor for this course. In this chapter, we'll discuss some more examples of DAX measures in Power BI. We'll start with filtering and counting functions. In the previous chapter, you've seen that on top of row and query context, filters are applied on the filter context. This means that filters take precedence over any slicer of visuals on your dashboard. Therefore, filter functions are great for situations where you need visuals that aren't affected by the query context. Let's show with an example. Suppose you're creating a report with lots of slices and visuals that interact, but you always want to show the total sales value on a summary card that is not affected by any selection. The usual way of calculating the total sales measure would be by taking the sum. However, a selection made with a region slicer would impact the total sales value, which we want to avoid in this case. This is where the calculate function comes into play. Calculate allows you to evaluate an expression within one, two or more filter contexts. It is often used with intermediate functions, such as the all function, which ignores any filters that might have been applied. As a result, a region or any other slicer won't affect our calculation, which is what we want for our summary card in this case. You'll see an example in the exercises. In addition to all, there are two other common filter functions that we'll discuss. The first one is filter, which returns a table that represents a filtered version of your target table. Let's say, for example, that we want